So hello and welcome to this uh, Adobe Anime tutorial and in this video I would like to show you uh, three different uh, loops uh, with, the, with the JavaScript. I will show you the for loop, I will show you the for off loop and I am going to show you for each. And basically we are going to do uh, something very simple that I am going to have some shapes and if I'm going to click on them they are going to uh, change the opacity and if I click to all of them they are going to disappear. So yeah, uh, this is just a very silly example, but I would like to show you uh, three different uh, loops uh, with, the, with the JavaScript. So yeah, I will go to the Adobe Animate and I'm going to create a new document and I am going to choose any width and height. Uh, so I can go maybe with 800 by 800 and I'm going to choose that I want to have HTML5 canvas and I'm going to click uh, create. Now very simply I am going to create the shapes so I will get some fill color I will get rid of the stroke and I am just going to draw a shape like so and I am going to click on this shape and I am going to convert it to the symbol so I will go to the modify convert to symbol or F8 and I am going to call this to be blue for example and I am just going to click OK make sure that it is movie clip and the registration, po registration point doesn't really matter right now and I am going to click OK uh, now I am going to duplicate this so I am just going to hold alt or option and I am going to drag this also with the shift to stay on the same line and I am going to right now select all of them and duplicate them like so and duplicate them like so. I am not going to align this that's not the point of this video so yeah. Uh, now I am going to uh, put an instance name to all of them so this is going to be blue one for example and I am just going to copy this and right now I will have to create the name for all of them so this one is going to be blue number two and uh, like so we are going to uh, create this uh, up to blue nine so yeah I am not going to uh, skip this I will just uh, put this uh, put this instance names so yeah this is going to be number seven this is going to be number eight and this is going to be uh, number nine like so now I will uh, create a new layer and this layer is going to be my uh, code and I will go to the first frame, I'm going to right click, I'm going to choose actions and yeah. It is going to open me this uh, text editor, you can adjust it as you want, you can zoom in and zoom out with the control or command and mouse wheel and yeah. Now I'm going to create an array of these shapes and uh, for the array I can go with the let or I can go with the const, I will go with the, with the let but but uh, yeah, that really doesn't matter right now. Uh, those are just two ways of declaring the variable. So I'm going to go let my uh, blues, for example, that's the name of the array, and I'm going to make it equal to these uh, brackets. And in these brackets, I am going to put all of my all of my shapes. So I'm going to type uh, this dot blue one. Uh, this uh, refers like to the main timeline in the Adobe Animate. So this blue one and comma, and I will have to put all of them in here. So blue, blue number two, blue number uh, three. I can put it to the new line. So this is going to be number four, but you will have to have the, the commas correctly. So this is going to be number five. And yeah, basically <laughs> uh, I will have to uh, put all of them uh, to the one array like so. This is going to be number eight and I can go to the new line and this is going to be number uh, number nine okay so uh, in order to loop through something we need to have something uh, to be able to loop and for example we are going to have an array so this array is right now going to have nine elements because we have nine uh, shapes from number one to number nine, but arrays are zero based. So this is uh, indexed uh, zero, this is index uh, one and so on. So right now what I could do is uh, I can type that uh, my blues and I am going to go with uh, brackets and zero and I'm going to set that the uh, alpha is going to be equal to uh, 0.5 for example. And if I go with control enter, command enter, uh, the, the first one has the index zero is going to have the, the opacity of 0.5. This means 0% uh, opacity, uh, the, like 50% opacity, 0 is 0% opacity, 1 is 100% uh, opacity. But, uh, but yeah. And uh, right now if I go with the uh, number 1, it is going to uh, be the, the second one and so on. So. Uh, this is, uh, as I said, index zero, this is one, this is two, this is uh, three, 
four, uh, five, uh, six, seven, and uh, eight. So the last item is going to be number eight. So if I go my blues eight alpha zero point five, it is going to it is going to go with this one. I can go with F twelve to open my console. I am going to have something in here, but uh, never mind. But if you are going to have some kind of error, you are going to have uh, some kind of red text. So I can show you an error right now. <laughs> so uh, I will go that uh, my blues uh, nine, and there is not nothing on the my blues nine because the last index is uh, eight. So right now, if I go with control enter, I am going to have an error that cannot set properties of undefined because uh, there is nothing uh, defined on uh, on uh, number on, on number nine in here. Okay. So yeah, and uh, right now uh, if I go with number eight, as I showed you, that's uh, going to be the last one. But uh, there is a better way. Uh, so uh, I can go ahead and uh, console.log. So I'm going to type console.log and I'm going to console.log my blues dot uh, length. That's the property of the array. So my blues dot length, and that's going to show me the length of this uh, array. And the length is uh, is uh, nine. It starts uh, with uh, index zero. The last index is index eight. But the length of this uh, array is nine because there is nine items. So if I go with control enter in the console, I am going to have a uh, number uh, number nine, and I can use this. Uh, if I want to uh, go with the uh, with the last uh, element of the array, I can put that my blues uh, my blues uh, length. This is a nine, as as we showed, uh, as we have seen, uh, nine is not defined. So what I would have to do is uh, go my plus dot length minus one, like so. So whatever array you are going to have, if you want to get the last element, it's going to be the length of the array minus one. And right now we are going to get. Uh, get uh, this one and in here we are console.logging 9 because uh, that's that's this uh, line okay fine so i can get uh, rid of this and we can go with the first loop which is going to be uh, for a loop so i am going to type for and i am going to create a parenthesis and in here i am going to create a variable so i'm going to type uh, let i is going to be equal to zero because we would like to start with the zero then a semicolon uh, then the condition while this is going to be running so i'm going to type for now that while i is going to be uh, smaller than uh, nine then semicolon and then i plus plus okay uh, i will re explain this in a moment but uh, yeah this is basically the for loop uh, we are going to start with zero uh, we are going to go until the i is going to be smaller than uh, nine so we will go uh, until the eight and uh, we are going to have i plus plus which means that i is going to increase uh, by one every time i can go ahead and console dot uh, log uh, i for example and uh, yeah at the beginning i is going to be zero so we are going to console dot log zero then we are going to uh, increase uh, i uh, we are going to have the i zero and we are going to uh, check the condition is zero smaller than nine it is so it will console dot log zero and then we are going to go i plus plus so right now i is going to be one we are going to check the condition is i smaller than nine it is so we are going to console.log1 and like so so i will go with control enter and we are going to have console.log from zero up to the up to the eight so let's talk about this this uh, eight so imagine that i is seven we are going to console.log seven and then we are going to plus plus so i is going to be eight and we are going to check the condition is eight uh, smaller than nine it is so we are going to console.log eight and then we are going to increase uh, uh, i to be plus plus nine and it's nine smaller than nine it's not so it's not going to be running if i would change this uh, to be equal uh, to be smaller or equal to nine uh, right now we are going to console.log also nine because it is uh, it is included in uh, in there uh, but uh, but yeah i can go I can go like this and I can, for example, uh, console.log uh, hello and we are going to have the, the hello bunch of uh, bunch of times like so. 
Okay, uh, we do not need to start uh, with uh, i to be zero. We can start, for example, with uh, one and we can go uh, to be uh, smaller or equal to 10, for example. And we can console.log hello and uh, plus uh, i, for example. And now we are going to have hello one, hello two, up to the, up to the hello uh, 10. Okay, let's do something a little bit uh, more useful. So I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to set this to be zero and I'm going to uh, set this to be uh, smaller than nine. And in here I'm going to type that my uh, blues uh, i dot uh, alpha is going to be equal to 0 0.5. So right now we are going to change the, the zero one, then we are going to have the i1, so we are going to change this one and so on. And we have uh, the last index uh, number eight. Uh, we are going to have i un up to eight, we are not going to include uh, nine. So we are going to change all of them. Uh, we are going to change all of them uh, like, uh, like so. If I would have this to be uh, smaller or equal to nine, uh, then we are going to change all of them, but then we are going to have the error uh, that the, the number nine is, uh, is not defined. Okay, so yeah, uh, we do not want to uh, have this to be nine like so, but what we want to do is we would like to uh, write the, that my blues dot uh, length like so because my blues length is uh, nine we want this to be smaller than nine so it doesn't matter how many items we are going to have in the array it is always going to be working uh, like so and i can change this to be for example 0 0.2 and uh, and the uh, now uh, if I do not want, uh, for example, start with the zero, but I would like to start with the one, that means that we are not going to change uh, this element and we are going to start uh, from the first one, which is this one. And yeah, uh, like this, if I change this uh, to number two, then we are going to uh, start, we are not going to get uh, zero, we are not going to get the one, but we are going to start with uh, the two. And the same thing, let me change this back to back to nine. Okay, so the nine is going to have all of them, but if I'm going to change this to be uh, the eight, for example, uh, then we are not going to get uh, get the last one like uh, like so. Okay, but yeah, I will go I will go back a <laughs> couple of times. I'm going to leave this my blues dot length, and I'm going to uh, start uh, with the uh, with the zero. Okay, so right now we have we have all of them. Uh, now what we can do if we want is uh, we can store this my blues i to the variable. So I can create the variable. So let uh, blue for example, or let uh, element l anything, but I am going to call this to be blue. So let blue is going to be equal to my blues of uh, i like so. And then what I can do is uh, I can change the uh, the blue uh, alpha is uh, equal to 0 0.5. So this is the same thing as if I would uh, write in here uh, my blues uh, i dot alpha because uh, the the blue one uh, at the at the first iteration is going to be my blues zero. So we are going to change the the my blues zero. Then it's going to be one. So we are going to change the number one and so on. So it can be useful to create this kind of variable. So yeah, I can go with control enter and this is still going to be this is still going to be working uh, now what i could do is uh, i can uh, i can get rid of this uh, code so i'm going to comment this out slash slash and i can type that the uh, blue dot on and we would like to have this on uh, click for example and uh, yeah now i can uh, either create an anonymous function or i can call some function i will show you both ways so i'm just going to call the function which is going to be change blue uh, so yeah if i'm going to click on one of them i'm going to call the function change blue and uh, then I'm going to create the function. So function change uh, blue like so. 
it would be better to uh, copy this and paste this so I am not going to misspell this like so and then in the function what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that the uh, blue dot uh, alpha is going to be equal to 0 0.5 like so control enter and uh, yeah right now if I click on this one the that one is going to uh, change the opacity if I click on this one that one is going to change and uh, and uh, yeah like so so yeah uh, if I do not, if I am not going to have the variable, I can uh, let me get rid of uh, this like so, and uh, let me comment out the the variable. Uh, in that case, if I am not going to have the variable, I am basically going to have that uh, my blues uh, I on click, and then we are going to be changing uh, my blues I. So if I am going to click on uh, my blues uh, number two, we are going to change number two. If I am going to click on number five, we are going to change number five. But what I did is uh, I created this variable, so I do not need to write the whole thing my plus i. But instead of that, I can just use the variable like so and like uh, so. You do not need to do this. You can do this. Uh, that's uh, that's up to you. And uh, yeah, this is uh, this is working. Uh, there is also option, uh, this is a little bit more about the functions than about the loops, but uh, we can create anonymous function, so I am going to get rid of this like so, and instead of calling the function in here, I am just going to in here type that uh, function like so. Uh, parenthesis and uh, then the curvy parenthesis like the same thing as we had before we have like function change blue we had parenthesis we have curly curly braces and uh, yeah and in here I can type that uh, blue dot uh, alpha is going to be equal to 0 0.2 for example and I will go with control enter and uh, this is going to be this is going to be working the, the same way. But yeah, I will go back a couple of times and I am going to keep this uh, with this change blue. So you can see that we, ha we have like the same thing, but uh, without the name. So we have before function parentheses, curly braces and something. And right now we have this like so you can use both ways, uh, but uh, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, now the last thing that uh, we can do with the for loop is uh, uh, outside of the loop we can declare some variable. So I can type let the uh, score for example is going to be equal to zero. Uh, in here when I'm going to click uh, and I'm going to call the function change blue, I'm going to type that uh, score uh, plus plus for example that uh, means that uh, score is going to be increased by one. The plus plus it's the same thing as in here so you can see and then uh, for example I can uh, console.log score so I am going to go with control enter and if I am going to click on this one uh, score is going to be one two and uh, so on like uh, like this okay and if I want uh, I can uh, go ahead and type that if uh, score is going to be equal to to nine or what we can do better is if score is going to be equal to my blues dot uh, length then we can for example uh, console dot log uh, you have them all or you got them all that's probably going to be <laughs> uh, better like so so yeah and right now if I'm going to uh, click on them like uh, like so, I'm going to have you got them uh, all, okay? Uh, and I am not uh, console.logging the score, so if I want, I can also console.log uh, score, like so, uh, but uh, but uh, yeah. So this is like uh, not point of this tutorial, I just wanted to show you that uh, you can do something like this, but, uh, but yeah. Uh, now uh, I am going to, I can get rid of this uh, score and I can uh, get rid of this uh, whole thing. We are just going to change uh, the, the alpha. And now what we can do is uh, we can go ahead and uh, we can go with other loop. So I am going to comment this out like so and like so. So uh, slash and asterisk uh, and asterisk and slash that's going to comment multiple lines of code. And we are going to go with uh, for off loop. So I am just going to type for 
uh, the same thing, same way as before and I'm going to create a variable so let and I can call this anything I can call this L as an element I can type element I can type anything but I'm going to call this to be blue so let blue of my blues so let variable of the array that we want we have the array my blues and basically right now all i need to do is i need to type that blue dot alpha is going to be equal to be 0.5 and right now we are going to change all of them to 0.5 i can go with uh, 0.2 and we are going to have this like so or if we want you can we can change like uh, blue dot uh, rotation to be equal to 20 or something like that and we are going to rotate them or anything uh, but uh, but yeah so right now in, uh, in this uh, for off loop we are going to have the same thing as uh, in here uh, we have declared the variable let like blue is my blues i and then we are going to be using the blue so uh, i could do the same thing i am just going to copy this control c and i am going to paste it in here so we are going to have blue on click uh, change blue and then I'm going to put the function in there. So uh, function change uh, blue and we are going to be uh, changing uh, blue alpha to be equal to 0 0.5. So I will go with control enter and uh, yeah, this is going to be uh, working the, the same way like, uh, like so. Okay, uh, so, so yeah, this is, uh, this is uh, for off loop and uh, the for off, uh, you need to, it's like, uh, it's going to be for all of the items as the, 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 the traditional for loop, uh, we can choose that, uh, if we want to start from zero or if we want to start from uh, two or if we want to end at the end or we would like to end, uh, like at the number seven. So in the, in the for loop, we can like, uh, choose. Uh, how many times we are going to do this and when we are going to have this for off loop uh, it's going to be uh, for all of the items of the of the array uh, so so yeah uh, right now i can uh, comment this uh, out like so and uh, right now we are going to go with the uh, with the last uh, loop of this tutorial which is going to be uh, for each so I am going to type this, <laughs> but uh, later on I am going to uh, type this one more time because this can be a little bit uh, like uh, confusing. So I am going to type that my blues dot for uh, each like so go away uh, for each parenthesis like so then function then uh, parenthesis then uh, curvy parenthesis in here i'm going to put some parameter and uh, yeah uh, this probably look confusing so i am going to uh, delete this and i am going to uh, try to re-explain this so i am going to create a temporary function which is going to be say hello for example and in this function uh, we are going to have like uh, the, the function, name of the function, uh, parentheses, uh, curly braces, and then in here I can uh, console.log uh, hello, for example, like, uh, like so. And uh, yeah, uh, function by themselves uh, don't do anything, doesn't do anything, so uh, don't do anything. <laughs> uh, so I will have to call the function, so I'm going to call say hello, like so, and it is going to just go with, uh, with hello. And uh, for example, in here I can uh, have a parameter, so I'm going to go like, for example, uh, uh, say hello user, and I'm going to console.log hello, I'm going to put a space plus uh, user, and right now I can call the, the function with, uh, with some name, so for example, Monica, and right now what, the, what is going to happen is I'm going to say hello, call the function say hello, and instead of this user, we are going to put the Monica, so we are going to have hello monica for example i will go with control enter and we are going to have hello monica or for example i can create variable let the name is going to be equal to for example uh, martin and i can 
uh, call the function say hello with this variable martin so the user is going to be replaced with the name with the name is martin so we are going to have uh, hello martin uh, so yeah but this is not the point so i am going to get rid of this and uh, i am going to get rid of this i just wanted to show you that uh, this is like uh, uh, the function that we can have. We can have the function, name of the function, uh, some uh, parameter, and then uh, curly braces. Okay, let's get rid of the name of the function. So I am going to get rid of this. We are just going to have the function. And instead of the user, let's go with the L as an element, for example, like so. So yeah, we are just going to have a function no name for the function we are going to have some kind of parameter and uh, yeah and now what i'm going to do is at the beginning i'm going to type my blues dot for uh, each like so and i'm going to put all of the function uh, to the to the parentheses like so so we are going to have my blues for each then we are going to have the parentheses, we are going to have all the function with uh, no name and the parameter and uh, curly braces inside. And then we are going to have uh, the parentheses like so. And in here, basically, I can type that L dot uh, alpha is going to be equal to 0 0.5 like so and we are going to change uh, all of the all of the elements uh, i am going to change this from uh, l to be blue because that's uh, what we was doing so this is going to be blue and i'm going to do the same thing for this one so this is going to be uh, blue dot alpha is going to be equal to 0 0.5 and uh, and uh, yeah uh, right now we are going to change uh, all of them uh, so yeah uh, one more time we can uh, do the same thing so i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to paste this so we are going to have blue on click uh, change blue and then we are going to have uh, the function so i am going to put a uh, function change uh, blue and uh, yeah we are going to have this uh, like uh, like so and uh, and the yeah. and right now uh, at the end i can show you one more time with the score uh, if you want so i'm going to go let score is going to be equal to zero uh, in here in the function i'm going to type score plus plus and the same thing if uh, score is going to be equal I use triple equal signs uh, is going to be equal to my blues dot uh, length like so uh, then I can uh, console dot log that uh, you uh, got them all for example and uh, yeah I will go I can also console dot log score so I am going to type console dot log uh, score like so and I will go with control enter and if I'm going to click on this I am going to be console.logging the score and if I'm going to have all of them I am going to have you got them all okay uh, now what we can do is uh, instead of uh, console.logging uh, you got them all we can for example if score is going to equal to my blues dot, dot length we can call some kind of function so i'm going to call function which is going to be go away like uh, so go away <laughs> or anything and then i am going to create the function so i'm going to go uh, function go away like so and i am going to put all of them uh, i'm going to get rid of all of them so one more time i'm going to create a loop you we can choose which one i will go for example with for off so i'm going to type one more time for uh, let uh, blue of uh, my blues and i am going to say say that blue blue dot uh, alpha is going to be equal to zero like so okay so right now when we are going to click to all of them we are going to call the function and we are going to have the function which is going to have the for loop we can use all of the all of them we can go with uh, traditional for loop we can go with uh, this uh, for of loop we could go with uh, for each that's uh, that's fine and uh, right now if i go with control enter and i am going to click on them like uh, like so and i'm going to have all of them they are going to disappear okay uh, there is one little thing uh, that uh, if i'm going to click on 
on them like so and I'm going to click on one of them multiple times this is going to like uh, still work so that's a little little issue so for that but that's the last thing last thing of this tutorial uh, what we can do is uh, I'm going to instead of typing blue on uh, click change blue I'm going to type in here blue add the event uh, listener like so so blue add even listener click change blue this is going to do the same thing so it is going to be still working the same way or it is still going to uh, be working like so uh, the same way but right now when I'm going to have this as a blue add even listener what I can do is uh, in the function I can type uh, uh, blue dot uh, remove even listener so when I'm going to click on that one it is going to remove the even listener for that one so right now if I go with control enter and I will click on this one it is going to have the score of one but if I click one more time nothing is going to happen so yeah uh, this way you can like make sure that you cannot click uh, multiple times on the same element and uh, and yeah so yeah basically <laughs> this is it this is uh, this is all in here I can just create uh, comments for you so this is going to be a uh, for loop uh, this one uh, is going to be uh, for off loop so I'm going to type for off uh, and uh, this one is going to be uh, for uh, each like so uh, for each and uh, this one is uh, uh, for off uh, uh, one more time okay because this is like the function that uh, that we are calling so yeah basically this is it this is all if anyone have been here until the end you can write me that in the comments uh, that would mean a lot, a lot to me and yeah there are also other types of loop there is for example while loop but uh, that's uh, for another tutorial there, there is like for in loop which is like for the objects but uh, yeah I just wanted to show you uh, three different uh, loops and they are all going to do the same thing you can always go with the for loop uh, and for example if you would like to generate uh, three different random numbers you will have to go with the for loop uh, so you can always go with the for loop but if you want to like uh, go through all of the items in the array you can use for off or you can use for each so yeah so I hope that you have learned something as I told you or I didn't told you I am going to provide you this file uh, and yeah thank you very much have a nice day and goodbye